Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today we're going to be unboxing the MSI B350M Pro VD Plus B350 motherboard, which is a mouthful. But this supports Ryzen Gen 2 right out of the box, which is why I really want to unbox it for you guys. So this is a, I believe, mid or mini ATX motherboard that basically um, has that support, which is kind of important. And it's, of course, B350, which comes in right around 60 bucks, which is also a pretty good deal if you're looking for something low to mid-range that has already has support for the newer processors, so you can put an APU or anything like that. I'm actually putting a Ryzen 2600 in here um, for the next $600 budget system that I'm building for somebody, so that would be awesome to do. But we're basically going to be unboxing it for you guys to see what it looks like, and so you guys get a good, accurate idea of what it'll be like if you want to go unbox it. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, what's up? So here we are, we're going to unbox, this is one of my favorite things I like doing just because you actually get to see cool goodies, um, you know, and check them out. This is why I like watching these actually on YouTube as well, is so when you, you know, open them up and you see somebody else do it, you have to figure out what it's like. Okay, so here we are, top off the box, right there. We got a nice little plastic um, stack sensitive device. Um, before you touch this, keep in mind that you might want to touch a computer. I actually have a computer case sitting next to me. Um, you know, to give you a funny story, when I first built my very first uh, gaming computer, uh, I actually was surprised because um, I actually was like all stressed out about static wristbands and stuff and I, I got one and stuff and it didn't even make a difference. I, I, I took off the case or took out of the case out of the box and stuff and basically ended up with a very, very um, static uh, hand that almost cost me my motherboard. So uh, that was kind of something important to talk about there. But let's just open this up real quick so you guys can see what we're looking at here. So here's what the motherboard looks like. It's a nice brown PCB, which I was not expecting, um, but it is a brown PCB, which isn't bad at all. It just kind of blends in. I thought it was more of a black, but it's good. Um, as for, you know, um, RAM slots, you got uh, RAM slots that pop off. You have four SATA cables, um, I.O., you have LED slots, and you have CPU, um, two CPU pump or options as well. You have two CPU options, um, fan options there. And uh, everything else is pretty much the same as you expect on any motherboard. You got output slots for your video. Um, those you might want to keep in mind if you're doing this for an APU. I'm actually going to put this back in the bag because me, I don't want to actually get any issues with this um, because I'm trying to just you know unbox things. Um, and then of course I'll be reviewing them later on. These things actually are pretty nice, um, but I'm basically just going to be unboxing this and then I'll be using it in the system that I'm building, which I would also recommend if you want to see this in a system. Um, this video should be out. It's supposed to be out for 2,000 subscribers, but Amazon decided to ship the package, my CPU and the GPU, to somewhere off in um, New York. So uh, I had to contact them and get my money refunded, things like that. So let's check out what else is in the box. So here we are. So this is pretty much what we get inside. Um, we've got the IO shield which isn't that uh, special. I've had some much more better I.O. shields. Uh, you get two SATA cables. Uh, you get instruction guides. The same thing you get in any MSI motherboard kit. Uh, right there, the instructions. And you've got drivers on a CD, which are absolutely useless. Why don't they just put the drivers on a flash drive? You get a flash drive, and you get to have the drivers that you need, rather than you know doing that. Well, oh well. So that's pretty much what's inside the box, just reviewing it so you guys can see and you know, open it up and see what you guys think of it. Um, but that is pretty much the whole, everything that's in the box. Um, I'd recommend if you are, you know, wanting to ask questions about this, I'm always open in the comments. And as always, if I have any troubles or difficulties, uh, make sure you guys go down below and check the uh, pinned comment because I'll actually, if I ever do have any problems with it, especially when I'm building it, I'll actually come back and I'll post something, a message like, hey, I had difficulty doing this, so you know before you buy it. Um, I like to actually do that on this channel because for a lot of the stuff that I review or unbox or things like that, they're actually, you know, things, you can't really judge everything within one day. Um, so I like to give my reviews a, a week, but still, sometimes you can't get everything. And sometimes you'll come across something a year down the line that, or maybe like a couple months down the line, maybe even a month, that really break, makes or breaks buying something. So, you know, that's always something I would recommend checking out as well. Also, if you are interested in buying this, um, do me a favor and go down and click the Amazon link in the description. It helps me out. Um, basically, I get to use, um, I get a portion of whatever you buy and I actually am able to use that in, you know, making these reviews, making more stuff, um, buying, you know, doing projects like the $600 PC, things like that. Um, that actually does me a big help, uh, which, you know, grammar there as well. But um, thank you very much for watching. I'd recommend if you're interested, uh, check out that video and maybe even consider subscribing. Like the video if this helped you out in any way. And of course, as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.